Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee on Nintendo Switch. Today's episode is all about beating up some more Master Trainers. On today's episode, we are going to beat up the Pidgey Master Trainer, the Pidgeotto Master Trainer, and the Pidgeot Master Trainer. It's going to be a good one. If you guys have missed the previous episode where we managed to struggle through Weedle, Kakuna, Beedrill, go check it out, it was awesome. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do it. So we have a Pidgey on our team. Let's take a look. Uh, this is our party Pokemon. We've got Pidgey here. We're gonna take a look at our Pidgey summary. And of course, we're gonna continue on. So this entire playlist is a series where we're gonna go through the entire game beating all the Master Trainers and getting that sweet Grand Master title. It's gonna be awesome. Every Master Trainer, all the locations, doing it with as minimal amount of candy as possible. So as you guys can see over here, we have a Pidgey. Very small amount of candy, really nothing. You don't even have to do it. But uh, our Pidgey is going to be at a high level. It's at uh, level 96 right now. It doesn't have to be at 98, but just make sure it's not at 99, okay? I'll go over my moveset for the Pidgey, and uh, we'll go from there in just a moment. But you guys can see over here, we're in Viridian City. Once we go a little bit higher up towards Route 2, we will have the Pidgey Master Trainer right up above us. Now, uh, let's take a look at the sets, and I'll tell you guys what the moveset for the Pidgey Master Trainer is. So... Uh, the Pidgey Master Trainer has Fly, Toxic, Protect, Roost. So, we can mimic that set and outplay them. But, I don't feel that I necessarily need Roost if I'm going to Toxic them. Because a Toxic is just going to corrode their HP more and more and more. So, I opted to run Substitute instead. So, if I can get a sub up, I can dodge the Toxic and then I can proceed to uh, use some work. So, the only thing that the Pidgey has uh, as the Master Trainer goes as an attack is Fly. So I can see that coming a mile away, and then I can protect against it. So I don't even think you need... I don't even think you lead a, need a level 90-ish Pidgey in order to beat this one, as long as you Toxic them and let the Toxic Stall do the damage. So here we go. Wish us luck on today's episode. Bird Keeper Louie! What's up, Louie? I've never seen Louie spelled like that, but I guess it's kind of like Pidgey with an E-Y. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is, I don't know if I'm going to outspeed it to be honest, but I'm going to try to put up a sub. And what's going to stink right now is if I get outsped and he toxics me and I have a sub over the toxic, that's going to stink. So I'm going to sub right now. He uses protect, that's awesome. That is a win. Alright, so we already know that this Pidgey is already faster than ours. I didn't spend a whole bunch of candy on this Pokemon, so we're good. We are absolutely good. He can't use toxic again. Or sorry, he can't use Protect again. He used Fly, that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna Protect right now, and then we're gonna be in this loop right now, which is gonna be really bad. So I don't know how I'm gonna squeeze in this, um, squeeze in this Toxic on him. I mean, we can, we can PowerPoint stall out his Fly, which is fine. If push comes to shove, I'll do it. <clears throat> Okay, so he's gonna try to, he's gonna try to not get toxic. Okay, well this is very interesting. You only get 10 protects, so keep that in mind. If he's gonna use fly again, then I'm, I can fly after him. I gotta get that toxic up. Double protect, he actually did it. He actually knocked out the double protect. For those of you guys who don't know, if you use Protect a second time in a row, its accuracy is real trash. It's really rare if you're going to hit it. I don't know if it's like 50%, 20%. Going for the Triple Protect didn't work, and I do get the Toxic. We win. That's win condition. I'm in. I've got the sub up right now, so really, I can I can just stall right now. And I don't, I don't have to worry about it. I can use Sub, even though I already have a Sub up. And we're going to win. There's nothing that this Pidgey is going to do that's going to beat me. I'm just going to use Toxic right now. There's no point in it. I'm just stalling so that he uses Fly and then I can protect on it. So I'm behind this sub. I'm sitting pretty. We win. All right, this is beautiful. So we're just going to use Protect right now. And it's game over, pal. That Toxic is going to destroy you. You can do this with a level 1 Pidgey. I guarantee you can. I guarantee you absolutely can. You can do this with a level 1 Pidgey and win. I should really try. Because Pidgey can learn all these moves. 
So uh, right now, these are just TMs that you can get. So you can absolutely protect all you want, but if your only move is fly and it, it's a two turn move, I'm gonna protect on it and you're not gonna be able to touch me. So now this is good. You can be Pidgey with a level one Pidgey. You did not need to raise up a level 90-ish Pidgey at all. Definitely not. So I'm just gonna stall out Toxic over here and we're gonna go. It's cool, go ahead and roost all you want. You're gonna get half your health back, but that poison's gonna take a good chunk of that back. So there's really no point in me, I mean, he can continue to roost and I can try to do some fly damage, but he's got protect still. So I'm just gonna keep on going with Toxic. And you got what, 10 power points in roost? We'll play, we'll play the PP stall game. I don't mind, bring it on. And I'm just stalling out my power points for Toxic right now because I don't necessarily need them. All right, so if you really want to get um, technical about this, what you could do is you can count how many times they use Roost, how many times they use Fly, and you can make your judgment battle uh, based off of that. So here we go, he's gonna get that health back, but that Toxic is gonna take all that right back. Here we go. Straight, that's a straight wash. Okay, so now I think that it's time to start flying. Because if he flies, he's done. He has to Roost. And he knows that it's just, he's just spinning his wheels right now. He's like, oh man, that Toxic is just building up. It's gonna take all that Roost damage and I'm gonna fly all the way up with my sub. And we're gonna be set. So it's inevitable that he's gonna want to either Roost or Protect, but we got him. We absolutely got him. If he Protects, the Poison's gonna KO him. If he Roost, the Poison's gonna KO him. And the Fly Attack's gonna knock him out too. So it doesn't matter. Yo, that's win condition. That's so fun. That's legit really cool. KO. You can easily do this with a level one Pidgey. I cannot believe it. You need zero candy for this battle. Guarantee it. All you needed was this moveset of subs so you couldn't get toxic yourself. The strength is the real thing. That was real good. Real good. Okay, my Pidgey is too powerful. That was actually one of my favorite battles so far in the entire uh, episodes here. That was real cool. Okay, so our Pidgey does deserve some candy after that great showing. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to pop open our candy jar. I'm running out of these things left and right. Uh, we're going to give Pidgey just a quick level up so that we can evolve into Pidgeotto. And uh, I don't expect us to outspeed enemy Pidgeotto. So as long as I have it, we're going to be okay. So no, dude, you can do that with a wild Pidgey. As long as you have every single TM, which you guys have all seen my video on where to find all the TMs at. As long as you have that, you're all set. You are absolutely all set. That's real cool. That was real good. Let's let's see if we can do that again. Same move set. Let's go. Okay. So here goes our Pidgeotto. I will show you Pidgeotto right now. Pokemon box, and then we're gonna go over to the Pidgeotto Master Trainer. So let's take a look at our stats, just so that you guys can compare my stats to yours. Uh, Lax is really you don't really care about that. Nature doesn't matter. Uh, Fly protect sub toxic. Speed one eighty three. Okay, cool. Uh, attack stat and special attack stat. I mean, it really doesn't matter. We're gonna toxic stall anyway, so let's hit it. The name of the game is toxic stall. Oh my gosh, that's so good. But every Pokemon can learn toxic, so the only Pokemon that are gonna be really hard in order to beat are the poison types, as we saw from Kakuna, Weedle, and Beedrill. Okay, so we're gonna go to uh, Route 16, which is one of my favorite uh, areas. Route 16 is right above here. Yeah, Route 16 is next to Celadon City. We should be able to grab the uh, Pidgeotto trainer right over that way. Route 16 was the old bike path and then now is turned into Pokemon Road. So definitely one of my one of my favorite areas in the entire game. It's got the same bike music from when you uh, use the bike from the older generation, just kind of remixed. A little bit more modernized. There's the Snorlax trainer. We'll absolutely do the Snorlax battle on another one. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the playlist. I don't know if you can hear Rocco, but he's me on the back. Anyway, here we go. So this is the Pidgeotto trainer right here. Hello, Pidgeotto trainer. Nice to meet you. Okay, Pidgeotto master. I've got a Pidgeotto. We're gonna use the exact same set. We're gonna do it. This one's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, the enemy Pidgeotto has the moves of Air Slash, Headbutt, and Agility. So he's gonna be banking on flinching us. What I need to do is I need to get that Toxic on right away, and then I just need to stall out. Because if I get headbutted right off the bat, 
and I get flinched, it's going to be over. And you don't want that to happen. So uh, here we go. We're going to do Toxic off the bat. Air Slash. Please don't crit. That hurts! Oh, and I got a flinch! Come on, man. You win. All right. GG's. You win, man. Just take me. That's a three-hit KO. I don't know how I'm going to stall three hits. He got a flinch on the first one. That's real hot garbage. And he outspeeds, too. This one's actually going to be a really tough one. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking this in my mind right now, and it's going to be real tough. So, okay, let's play this out. Let's play this out. He can, potentially, he can use agility, and that's a free turn that we're going to need. So, uh, let's, let's, let's battle him, and let's go. Pidgeotto. Air Slash, Headbutt, Agility. If you get Agility up off the bat, that's a free turn of Toxic. And then I can start pr to proceed to stall. So this one's going to be really interesting. There's only three moves that it knows. And I can take three Air Slashes. So it's going to be Toxic, Get Hit, Protect. Yeah, I don't know. There's that big Air Slash. Oh, come on! <laughs> That's a real hard one. Oh, dude, I'm in it. Ah, uh, man. Either... Either I have to... I don't know if I have to start busting out some candy or what. Because... This is hard. This is hard. There's no way that I can do this. Unless I max out my speed to beat its speed stat. I don't know. Let's let's take a look. We're gonna figure it out. Here goes Toxic. Air Slash. Or we can pray for the Air Slash miss. That was a crit! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Alright, well, that's fine. You know what? Crits happen. It's You're not gonna ever get this on your first try. I mean, unless you got, like, the ultimate Pidgeotto. It's not gonna happen. Alright, so what I need to do is I need to Toxic Stall, so we're gonna protect right now. That stunk, dude. We almost had it. Silly. Very silly. Okay, so there's that. And then I need to either take a hit right now, or at least try for the double protect. If I don't try for the double protect, I'm going to lose. And I need to get the double protect, and then I need to fly. I'm going to try for the double protect. Oh, come on! Ah! <laughs> See, I can take three hits, but that's it. So, I've got to do this, I got to be really lucky for this battle. Oh, man. So, I'm going to try for this Protect, which is obviously going to work. But right now, it's a losing battle. I'm just going to concede. There's nothing that he's going to do. Unless, unless he misses an Air Slash, which is, which is all possible. If he misses this next Air Slash, then I win. Uh, or if I get this Double Protect. No, I won't win if the Double Protect. If you miss the Air Slash, I win. Okay, I lost. Ah, come on! So there, there's a little bit, there's a little bit of randomness that you can turn the tide in order to beat this battle. And we're going to show you guys how to do that right now. Okay, so probably out of like 10 battles, he's going to win 9 of them. And then all I need to do is just win 1. And I got to get the double protect. I got to make sure that I don't get flinched. There's a lot of things happening. I got to make sure the toxic doesn't miss. This is, this is a real hard battle. Uh, so other than this, other than this, I don't need sub, so I might have to switch this up. If I put up, um, if I put up light screen, I should be okay. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Okay, so putting up light screen could potentially work for me. Maybe put up a light screen first turn, and then I can survive for the next couple turns. I gotta think about that. I'm not using sub for anything. You have air slash, headbutt, and agility. There's nothing to sub for. Okay, I, I just want this double protect. I need it. I need the double protect. Oh, come on! Air slash missed. Dang, dude! I think that's my only uh, way of winning here. I'll protect again right here, but then I'm going to try again for the double protect, and then fly. And then I only have 69 health, guys. It's not going to work. It's just it's just luck right now. This is luck whether or not I'm going to make it. 
And I haven't even seen what kind of damage Fly does to the opponent. So there goes an Air Slash. You haven't missed a single one yet. That's KO. Dude! Dude, let's talk about this for a second here. Okay. I'm gonna try one more without the, uh... Because, I mean, dude, it's, it's Air Slash or Headbutt. It's going to work either way, depending on what screen I have. So it really doesn't matter if I throw the light screen up or the reflect. They're gonna use the opposite one. There's a lot of luck on board with this. Here goes a big air slash, as long as I don't get flinched. That's so big damage, what? You need all your ducks in a row for this one. Pidgey was a walk in the park. This guy, no way. He's just so fast. And, I mean, yeah, he can use agility to waste a turn, but he's not going to because he knows how fast he is. Cheater, man. It's a, that's a good minimum roll. Okay, this we're already on a, a pretty good footing. So what if I use sub right now? No, sub's not going to work out. I should use protect. I, maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll try that. Okay, so I'm going to use Protect right now. And then I'm going to use Sub. And I should have enough health for a Sub. And then after Sub, I can use Protect again. And then I can fly. Okay, you know what? You know, I think we got this. I think we got this right now. So I use Protect. I'm going to use Sub right now. I should have enough. Miss. Dang it. I need a miss. I don't have enough- Oh, I don't have enough HP to make a sub! Ah, oh, that's frustrating. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> oh, min-max. Dude, I gotta, like, do the math of, like, a quarter of my health and then go from there. So I'm gonna try to protect. And then I lose. Banking, provided I- Provided the enemy Pidgeotto misses a- um, Misses right here, I win. If you miss the air slash, I win. Headbutt, what are you doing? Oh, he knew, he knew I was banking on that miss. Come on, man. All right, we got this. Don't worry, don't worry. We got it, man, we got it. Oh, I can't use anything else. Sub worked, sub worked out if I had one. I had a sub. I need to start off with, Toxic has to be the first move. And then I have to Toxic stall with Fly. I'm. This is like next to no candies on this Pidgeotto, so... Here we go. A decent roll. It's not like a max roll, it's definitely not a crit, which is good. I'm gonna try... Uh, I was gonna say, I, I wanna try for another sub. I wanna try again, like if I can somehow get min-max damage and then roll on it. You know, and I probably have a whole bunch of HP candy floating around, so if I have- if push comes to shove, I'll just dump a whole bunch of HP candy so that I can get the sub up. Or, you know what, I can just fly. Let's just fly. Let's fly up. Don't flinch me, please. That hurts so much. Yeah, I would not- I would not have any HP for that. Or, yeah, HP for a sub. No way. I don't even know how much my fly is going to do on it. But he's going to use air slash. So I'm going to hit him. And then we're going to protect and we win. You know what? That wasn't really that hard. That really wasn't that hard. We just we just had to do a little bit of work. Not hard. Not hard at all. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, luckily that thing doesn't have roost because that would have been a bad day. Okay, and there we go, ladies and gentlemen, the Pidgeotto, hurt by poison, knocked it out, got it. That was all you had to do. Toxic Protect, Fly Protect. Done. You can do that with any Pokemon as long as you can survive a couple hits. 
Can't believe it, you're Pidgeotto, it's too powerful. We deserve the title of Pidgeotto Master. That's right. Okay, so that was good. That was really good. It was a little struggle, but we were able to do it uh, with our moves. So here we go, big old rare candy. Right to you, Pidgeotto. Uh, level 98 Pidgeotto, very good. And now we get to witness another evolution, which is great. Oh man, good times. Good times. Wow, so Pidgeot here. Okay, so Pidgeot's gonna be pretty intense. It's gonna be Sky Attack, Hyper Beam, Reflect, and Roost. <sighs> that is a move set if I've ever seen one. So I'm thinking, I'm gonna try this strat all, all together. We're gonna try to, oh no, that's a waste of a candy, no! I knew that was gonna happen, I knew it. Dang it, ah, oh, so frustrating. Oh, so frustrating. I just pressed A. All right, whatever. You know what? Have the candy. You ate two. That's you cheater. All right, whatever. I knew it was going to happen on one of these episodes. Anyway, here's our Pidgeotto. Our Pidgeot. Fly protect sub toxic. That could work. I don't know if I should roost. I should get roost on here. What's sub going to do for me? I mean, I could set up a sub right off the bat. Well, you know what? We'll try it. We'll, we'll absolutely try our same moveset, and we'll go from there. We may have to mix it up with Light Screen, Reflect, uh, either or. Pikachu, you suddenly looking this way? Why? Because I wasted a rare candy right there? Ugh. Anyway, uh, we're going to go to Route 12. Uh, Route 12 is right over this way. It's going to be in the upstairs little observatory, so I'm going to go over to Vermilion City. We're going to go to that little interpass exchange loading zone. And then we're gonna do that. So, wow, what a what an interesting battle on today's episode, huh? Toxic stalling is working. But of course, that's not the end all be all, guys. You definitely don't have to use toxic stall. But if you're like me and you don't really wanna spend so much time uh, working on getting candies for each of these Pokemon, then toxic stall is gonna be your best friend. Okay, here we are. Uh, this is the inner pass that we had to go through. It was from Lavender Town South. If you go Lavender Town South, you're gonna be over here and we're gonna talk to the Pidgeotto, Pidgeot trainer, which is uh, exactly right here. So hey, the Pidgeot master. Uh, I aim to find the ultimate Pidgeot. It's time. Okay, we're gonna use our same strategy. Now remember, it's uh, Sky Attack, Hyper Beam, Reflect, and Roost. If I eat a Hyper Beam right off the bat, that's gonna stink. I can't do anything about that. So I kinda wanna set up a sub. So I'm gonna set up a sub right off the bat. If he wants to set up a Reflect, then that's cool. And if if he does Hyper Beam, then, I, then it's over. So you set up Reflect, that's good. That's exactly what we wanted. Set up the Reflect, I got my sub up. So I'm gonna eat one of your Hyper Beams and I'm gonna be fine about that. So you put up the Reflect, here comes the big Toxic. You can't do anything about it, you're gonna eat it. Here goes a big Hyper Beam. Boom! Wow, that's damage. Okay, that's great. So here goes that big Toxic. You do have one turn of cooldown after Hyper Beam. So I'm gonna set up another sub. Maybe I should Roost. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so you got another one of those. I can I can sub up again, or I can get up in the air and fly. If I get up in the air and fly, I'm gonna be up there, you're gonna recharge, you're gonna hit, and then we're gonna be back at square one. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So you're gonna recharge. There's no need for me to set up a sub. I'm gonna fly up high and stall one turn. You're going to use, I don't know. Oh, you can use Roost. Yeah, you can use Roost right now, which is pretty smart. I would use Roost if I was that person or you're gonna use hyper beam now see here's the thing I just wait you just wasted a power point on hyper beam is there a, a, a cooldown after missing a hyper beam or is it just kind of cheesing where you don't have to get a cooldown after that so I'm gonna use protect right now just to scout out if there's a, a recharge after that hyper beam again wow 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 oh my gosh so now I'm probably gonna eat another hyper beam Unless you want to roost. 
and your team's Reflect wore off, so I can... Ooh, this is real tough for me. I can eat a Hyper Beam or predict the Roost and get a sub up. I'm gonna get the sub up, but I think I'm just gonna get KO'd. Yeah. <sighs> Come on. Sub's a waste right now. That's a KO, dude. That's a one-hit KO. Holy moly, how am I gonna play around that? Woo boy! Yeah, that Hyper Beam is real rough, guys. I cannot take one. Alright. Alright, let's mix things up a little bit. I may have to enlist the help of Light Screen. I'm gonna try this one more time with strategically working with the same moveset. I may end up giving up one of my moves for uh, for Light Screen though. Alright, so here we go. Let's hit this. I'm gonna do... Um, I'm gonna do Sub, expecting the Reflect. Okay, this is perfect. It's good. Hit me with the Hyper Beam. I'm gonna hit you with Toxic. Yeah, you know what? I should have been a little bit more... Sky Attack? What are you doing? That's even better for me. Sky Attack, you charge up one turn at the beginning. Oh, what a waste. I missed the Toxic? Oh, that's so bad. See, Sky Attack is the opposite of Hyper Beam. Where, instead of Hyper Beam, it's just one, and then you have Recharge. It's the other way around. It's charging, and then you attack. And which is perfect, because I have Protect. So, I just gotta get this Toxic up. So that was good. We had a, a slightly different, um, I guess, order of operations here. So here's the Hyper Beam to break the sub. I gotta get another sub up or else it's over. Okay, good. We finally have the Toxic. I missed out on like two turns of Toxic damage because of that. Lame. Alright, so you've got uh, cooldown right now from the Hyper Beam, which is good. And here we go. We're going to put up that sub. Easy sub. And then I can protect on this next one. Which is... Ooh, but what if he does... Ooh, hold on, hold on. So what if you do... Teams Reflect War off. So if I press protect here, I'm going to end up losing my sub. Oh, this is real bad. This is either or. I'm going to fly up, dude. Ah, if I fly, though... <sighs> okay, so let's let's play this out. I'm gonna use sub. There we go. I'm gonna use sub in case. <sighs> okay, you know it's toxic stall. That's fine. <laughs> I need. I'm just gonna keep on using sub because the only thing that I'm afraid of is hyper beam. If hyper beam comes out, I'm owned. So here we go. We're gonna keep on using sub. Good. So now I get another sub, and it gives me the another opportunity to, I don't know, I can, I can potentially fly. But I only have one, one more sub after this one. So my time, I'm biding my time with this. So what I really need to do is, I don't know if I should, just Toxic to waste a turn. And then start flying. Yeah, because I'm not going to go up in the air and fly yet. You have this much HP, you're going to start roosting. And regardless of what you do, you're going to lose. Because now I have fly. So if you hyper beam me right now, you, it doesn't matter. This is interesting. So watch, watch, watch. So you're going to get all your health back. Toxic is going to take a little bit out. I'm going to be in mid-air with a sub. You're not going to get me. And you can do this exact strat with a wild Pidgeotto. You definitely do not need a level 90 Pidgeotto at all. Because the damage doesn't matter. The damage output that you do does not matter one bit. As long as you're able to stall in midair with that. Okay, so we got Fly now. So now, here's the thing, right? That didn't do any damage. That's fine. Whatever. Don't need it. The Toxic damage is going to help us out. So Toxic's doing some more work over here. Team's Reflect War off. Okay, cool. Do it. What I want to do right now is I want to make sure that if you use a Hyper Beam, I got a sub up. And you're not going to. You're going to keep on roosting and you're going to be spinning your wheels. It's okay. The Toxic's going to take over. Just let it. Just let it. And I believe that I can... I, I just... You know, I have five power points for sub. If he busts out a rogue, 
If he busts out a rogue hyper beam, it's over anyway, because it's gonna break the sub and he's gonna eat that damage. So I win. <laughs> this is cool. This is real cool. This is real cool. You can do this exact strat with any Pidgeot. I swear you can. You don't need a level 99. You don't have to invest in it at all. Um, but Pidgeotto was actually a little bit harder. Pidgeotto was absolutely a little bit harder because you had to be able to take at least two of the um, air slashes. So yeah, if you want an easy one, you can catch a wild Pidgey at any level and then beat the Master Trainer and you can do the same thing with Pidgeot. But Pidgeotto is a little bit harder. Keep on roosting, dude. You're just spinning your wheels, buddy. It's not gonna help out. Okay, oh baby. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. It feels good. Cross another three off the list. That strength is a real thing. All right, so we outplayed him. Very good. All right, I can't believe it. You're Pidgeot. It's too powerful. You're the one that deserves the Pidgeot Master. Awesome. We're doing pretty well so far. So yeah, there we go. Cool. Okay. Well, there we have it. We showed you guys exactly how to beat the Pidgey Master Trainer, Pidgeotto Master Trainer, and the Pidgeot Master Trainer. Two of those can be done with Wild Pidgey without any candy investment. But the Pidgeotto one is actually a little bit harder. Do you guys have any other natures or movesets that you guys use to make this battle a lot easier? Let me know in the comments what you guys did. But anyway, the end justifies the means because we got these titles and that's what we're aiming for. So here we go. This is going to be it. Um, yeah, our next episode, what we're going to do, so stay tuned to the playlist, is we're going to do two of them. Uh, we're going to be doing the Rattata and Eradicate episode. That's going to be pretty interesting. It's just going to be a double header. And we're going to do the exact same thing with any of the other Pokemon that evolved twice. So keep that in mind. Stay tuned to the playlist. We're going through the entire Pokedex, getting all these Master Trainers. Play along with. It's going to be a really fun one. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that like button and share the video with a friend. Let's get it going. Woo, man, that was real tough. That was, uh... That was, that was real tough. Anyway, thanks for watching. You guys are great. Uh, you guys can absolutely take a look at our playlist over here. Newest video on the channel that way. Recommendations there. And don't forget to uh, smash that like button, share the video, uh, become a subscriber, which is absolutely free. Turn on your notifications, and uh, we will see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for watching, and thanks for supporting the series. Take care.